What's going on, my silly little motherfuckers? <laughs> so, um, I ripped that one off from Lou. But uh, a couple things that I want to go over. He's a pretty smart guy. He was explaining to you earlier that this isn't a run-up. Some of you were like, well, that's fun. Look at the numbers. Well, I am going to come to his defense. So, to understand what he is talking about, you have to understand how a stock works, all right? The value of a stock is a representation of how far from zero, zero being out of business, a stock is, or a company is, and that's the stock value. All right, now we understand that we are bankers. What does a banker do? He looks for the best available return on his money. He understands that there's appreciating accounts, stocks that are going up, and depreciating accounts. Like your vehicle that you're trading in that you drove off a lot and it's worth less. That's depreciation. So that depreciating account, you want to get your money the fuck out of. You might want to look for an opportunity to hop into it. That's called buying the dip. All right. Now, if you had a bunch of long shot type stocks, let's just say like one of us meatheads that are out here that are like Lou's killer ducklings, um, we own a shit ton of AMC and that's really a lottery ticket. The reason why it uh, like refers to that as a lottery ticket, it's a long shot at winning. So... We're not the only ones that carry long shots. So hedge funds are out there that are battling us. They haven't closed their long shots. No. Instead, rather, they've tightened up their positions. Some of the actual long shots that they're taking that are not AMC, they had to close out. All right. A lot of those plays don't show up on a Dow Jones Industrial Average or a NASDAQ or a S&P 500. So the reflection inside those, you know, barometers of how the market's doing are um, a reflection of certain stocks in particular. And maybe not their long shots that they just cleared up the positions on. So they took their long shot money though and they put it into blue chip stocks so you see this big run up what they're trying to drive home to us a whole percent and a half after it dropped five yesterday is not a run up after it lost 15 in the past week that's not a run up all right and anybody that understands that the people that need to keep pumping money into this to get the money in the market up well the overnight money is now up to a percent and a half money ain't free so I don't know which economist you're listening to or which analyst you're listening to but when money costs more you have a less because um you have to pay to get it. I don't know anybody with unlimited resources, so with that being said, it's kind of a flawed concept. All right, well, that's my explanation of why, you know, your Dow Jones and shit like that ran up. I'm excited for us, folks. Just hang in there. Um, Lou, what up? You my boy. Um, I put in a video and I sent it to you and you didn't do shit uh, about that zombie like fight race thing white team captain dog I'll even come down to New York for that shit or Jersey or wherever the fuck you said it was I'll catch y'all later y'all